A lot of people don't think about this, but with the weight of adding in large structures like apartment buildings, especially on coastal areas, there is a chance that the buildings will sink over time. So there's a report out of the Daily Commercial News about 35 buildings that are slowly sinking throughout Miami there. So we all remember back in 2021 there, there was some condos that actually collapsed. There's more issues on those sites as well. Some of it's contributed to poor design. Some of it has also contributed to nearby construction activities that are actually, the tremors are actually vibrating these buildings lower and lower and lower. So definitely something to think about. I know I've worked on a couple projects in the past where uh, there was settling going to be happening. One was built uh, by a river. So it was actually designed to, to sink up to you know, two or three inches once all the weight was put on there. When you've got high rise buildings, when you've got large towers and you've got podium sitting in front of them, the tower will traditionally sink a little bit more once everything settles from the podiums and surrounding buildings. So just something definitely that you want to keep in mind there. And when you are researching what buildings you're going to move into personally, you want to make sure that you've got reputable builders there and there haven't been any issues in nearby buildings any time in the past couple years to make sure that there won't be any issues with the building that you're going to move into.